So it's clear that the DNC establishment and corporate media are still putting all their weight on the scale for neoliberal candidates and attack progressive candidates like Representative Tulsi Gabbard and Senator Bernie Sanders. So the thing is, are voters engaged enough to really tell that there's clear manipulation? And can corporate media be as successful as it was during the 2016 election fraud cover-up? And what I mean by successful is basically, yeah, there was election fraud, but we're still going to turn a blind eye and no one's going to do a thing about it. Yeah, I mean, I don't see how anything fundamentally changed. You know, um, there isn't an opposition party right now. I mean, Nancy Pelosi is proving that, right? So what's the point of having a majority in the House? What is the point of having that if you're not going to ever use it? Well, she she just completely caved. I mean, the, by the way, that, that term, Nancy Pelosi caved, on that border bill uh, is came from the USA Today. That didn't come from me or some lefty out there. They're saying she caved to Mitch McConnell. So what's the point of uh, everybody voting? I gotta vote blue. Uh, everybody gotta, I, I, oh. And uh, what is the point of that if you're just gonna go along anyway? I mean, look at look at how the Democrats are the enablers of the Republicans' agenda, right? They, Chuck Schumer fast-tracked their judges. That was one of the reasons they said you couldn't, you had to vote for Hillary because of the judicial branch. You had to, they're gonna unpack the courts and, and Chuck Schumer's fast-tracking them over and over and over. Whereas the Republicans stymied Barack Obama's appointments at every turn. Uh, what, what, uh, they, they participated in the further deregulation of Wall Street under Trump, the Democrats did that. Now she just rolled over and caved, they caved over on DACA, mm -hmm. and now they're caving in on this, for, got nothing. Right. They didn't, she didn't even negotiate. She just was, whatever Mitch McConnell passes, we're gonna pass. Or that time when she was screaming on top of the roof saying that Trump is a threat to national security, she's surveilling us, and then what happens? She votes in favor, Nancy Pelosi votes in favor of increasing the national security policy. That's right. So, I mean, that's, that's, that's... Well, that's the same thing. Like, Barack Obama, you know, when he, on his way out of office, he didn't, like, try to undo all that stuff that he, all the powers they gave to the president because Trump was coming in. He expanded the security state more and spying powers more. Mm -hmm. So then let's actually just, again, focus a little bit more on the election fraud of 2016. It's still fresh in a lot of progressive minds, and there's a concern that it could very well happen again. Maybe more people are aware of it, but... There is somebody we do have to address, and that's Senator Bernie Sanders. And for the most part, he has been silent about the election fraud, especially what happened in 2016. And, you know, corporate media is still attacking him. They're still attacking Representative Tulsi Gabbard. And so um, why do you think Bernie Sanders has still remained? I mean, I asked you this before, but I mean, even now, he's still silent about, uh, you know, people questioning about what happened during 2016 and uh, even challenging the actions of the DNC. Why is he still silent about the election fraud? I don't know. <laughs> I really, I don't know. Uh, I wish I knew. I, I, I wish I'd like to, I'd like to ask him. I don't know. I don't know. People don't ask him that question. Who do get to ask him questions? So that would be. I wish I knew. It's it. It is disappointing. You know, even to the point where Elizabeth Warren. I remember her being interviewed on MSNBC, and they asked her, "Do you?" Or maybe it was CNN, and they asked her, uh, "Do you think that the." the, the uh, primary election was rigged and she said yes like that's a famous clip that's Elizabeth Warren and then of course she had to walk it back right but you know that was her that was her honest answer that was her first honest reaction and um, and even Donna Brazil had to walk stuff back from her book um, so that's what happens they uh, so anyway uh, I have that video that I played before the show last night, right? right. Where uh, I was, I just happened to go to Las Vegas to cover the, the caucus. I, I had been to Iowa earlier, and I'd been to those, and that was wild. And so uh, I was like, yeah, I go, I'm gonna go. So I went to the Paris Hotel one. So they had that. That was a caucus site. I just picked it at random, and uh, it was the most unbelievably bizarrely. P poorly managed on purpose, mm -hmm. it seemed like, right? Or, or, the, maybe, the, or maybe that's just how they run things. The whole way it's set up is just, it's a guy literally counting a guy. just a, And he writes a number on his hand. I showed you that. What, what, what could go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? And then he, the, the ballot's flying out of his hand everywhere. Nobody's, he's, and he forgot to, and they were letting people register after. They let him participate who weren't ready. It was like all kinds of crazy stuff. Mm -hmm. So, uh, chaos favors the establishment. Right. So that's why it's like that.